Hi artists, so when you finished uploading your maze into Google Classroom, you're going to flip your page to number two and we're going to do what's called a texture hand. So this is another really cool way to learn about how you can use lines to make artwork because we use lines to make different texture. So what I'm going to do is trace around my hand. I'm tracing my left hand because I draw with my right hand. But you might draw with your left hand, in which case you would trace your right hand, whichever one works for you. But definitely get a pencil. Again, I will recommend a mechanical pencil for this one. Oh, you can see where my little ring was sticking out. If I wanted to, I can give myself a little ring. So the idea here is that each different finger is going to look like it's made of a different texture because of the way we use our lines. On the slide, there's a lot of different pattern and line and texture examples that you can use. Um, you can show fingernails if you want to. <laughs> that sounded like a song. You can leave them blank. Um, you can make it look more like a hand or less like a hand. That part is totally up to you. Let's say I wanted to make this finger look like it's made of bricks like a brick-like texture. What I might do is take my lines and kind of alternate them to look like bricks. You might even find some cool videos on how to create different looking textures. So I want my this finger to sort of look like it could be made out of a castle or something cool like that. Um, I'm kind of curving my lines to create that. I might blend it around, give it a little bit of shadow, but that's how I would do one. If I wanted one of my fingers to look like it was spiky, right, I could add little like looking fins, almost like spikes down a dragon's back. I could even give it scales if I wanted it to look really scaly. I could even turn it into a full little dragon. Look, I can give him silly little eyes. <laughs> I give them little arms if I wanted to. It can be silly. I just really want you to think about not just what lines are, but how you actually use them to create something specific, right? So texture is a really good way to do that. Um, so each of my fingers is going to look really different. And I, like I said, there's lots of examples for you to use if you want. Maybe I want this one to look kind of slimy, like I stuck it in something like slime or whatever, and then I can kind of layer up. I can use my wiggly lines to make it look like it's a little bit drippy. Okay, so we want a different one for each finger and then something interesting for the palm. I leave it up to you. I want you to play around and experiment. But this is what you're doing when you're done with your classroom upload. And we hopefully will be done with our texture hand by the end of our class today. Okay.